people that are able to afford a floating playground, as I call it, costing anything from £30 million up to £100 million, these are people that are going to want things done their way. We've got three decks, and I'm going to take you around. Sara Vestin Rahmani is the founder of Bespoke Bureau, which trains staff for the world's most expensive yachts. These girls are the latest batch of recruits, but we can't show you their faces. Most have signed privacy agreements with their employers. In the super yacht industry, it's of utmost importance that the staff are very, very discreet. Anything they hear or see just stays with them. We also get them to sign a very strict confidentiality agreement, which means that they'll end up in court should they spill any beans. The mega wealthy value their privacy and are prepared to pay their crew handsomely. Sarah says hard-working recruits can expect to start on more than $60,000, often tax-free. It is lucrative, but you mustn't forget that they work really, really hard and they do earn their, their money and um, they work very long hours. So although it looks uh, from an outsider's point of view uh, like a very luxury job, these uh, girls and boys work very, very hard. When money's not an issue and a small army are on hand at all times, requests can get outlandish. Dinner at 4 a.m., late night parties demanding guests. Super yacht workers often get little sleep. But what exactly goes on on board is kept close to the chest. The first rule of anybody working in that marketplace is you don't talk about it. And uh, I would never disclose what I know and have done. Going to do the flyer, Andrew's a professional butler, but he won't say who he's worked for. Round of applause, please. After a week of training, it's graduation time. Most of these girls are heading back to their yachts in time for the summer season. Long hours, late nights, and a chance to make some big money. Angus Bennett, Bloomberg, London.